Hello and welcome to my let's play of Ashwalkers, a survival journey. Today, as you can see, in grayscale, because I do believe that this game is also held entirely in grayscale, so I thought I would dress accordingly. Um, and yeah, let's say it right off the bat, I already like the art style here, I like the artistic choice of going all grayscale, and um, yeah, I already dig the atmosphere just from this title screen alone. Um, but yeah, what is this game? Um, the creators themselves describe it as a narrative adventure with a hint of survival sim elements. So you're supposed to make meaningful decisions, meaningful choices to keep your squad of uh, these four people that you can already see here on the title screen alive. I mean, I do believe that will be our squad. And um, yeah, speaking of the creators, this game was developed by um, indie game studio Nameless13. You might not have heard that name before, but um, it was founded by one of the creators of Life is Strange. I think um, they were not mainly responsible for this game, but definitely had some influence on it. And um, yeah, that sounds good to me already. And yeah, it was published by Dear Villagers. You definitely have encountered some of their games already if you've been following my channel. Um, they have published The Dungeon of Nahelberg, um, Scourgebringer and just recently Revita and I've covered all of those on my channel. So uh, yeah, this game should be available right now, only for PC so far, but um, you can get it on all the typical stores like Steam, GOG and the Epic Game Store. So um, yeah, yeah, I think that's the most important stuff and I'm uh, really hyped for this. <laughs> so I suppose we just start a new game and uh, see what awaits us. Uh, tutorial sounds good. I don't know anything so far, like aside from what I just told you and we don't have any other game modes, so that's good. Okay, I do know a few more things, like I think there are four different zones, but we can't yet select the starting zone. And um, starting traits, we can also not change those, but yeah, this looks interesting, like some customization for future um, Expeditions? I don't know. Yeah, I guess start the expedition then. Here we go. <laughs> I also really dig the music that was playing in the background, by the way. <laughs> Forgot to mention that. Day 13, almost two weeks ago, the third squad left the citadel in search of the legendary Dome of Domes. Okay. <laughs> Already throwing the lore at us. The squad members, Petra, the captain, Sin, the warrior, Kali, the diplomat, and Nadir, the scout, have been picking their way cautiously through the deadly, unbreathable and ash-filled outside air. Sounds rough. The squad is the last hope of survival for the 200,000 souls of the citadel. Having crossed the desert canyon of the north, they have finally arrived in view of the Ash Plains Beacon, a crucial milestone in their search for the legendary refuge. Really digging the music. Day 13, the Ash Plains. Aha! Hmm. Uh -huh. <laughs> we got a user interface. 
um, weather common, <laughs> okay, ashfall. <laughs> um, combust, I guess we'll learn about all this stuff, I'm not sure, I guess we're controlling Petra right now. So, um, let's walk. I really like the art style in this game, like this kind of looks like it's drawn, but still 3D, it's really nice. I hope I don't get too distracted while playing by just looking at stuff, but um, we can burn this, I I don't know, let's see, or just collect wood. Ah, Petra will retrieve one wood, but it does cost energy, I believe. Ah, sure. <laughs> ah, okay, so this is our energy bar. Good, got it. KE14 Outpost. Oh, we have got knowledge added to the encyclopedia. Lazarus Outposts. Okay, one of the furthest, furthest refuge, refuges from the Citadel, used by pathfinders to glean meteorological and cartographical data. One of the beacons containing data on the Dome of Domes should be located here. Okay, that sounds, sounds like a good place to be then. Don't know why this was told to me when I clicked that bush, but um, sure, I'll take it. Savage painting. This painting was produced no more than a few weeks ago. The symbols of brutality and barbarity are depicted with respect. Okay, could this be a warning of dangers to come or a macabre, macabre fascination with the wolf? Um, I don't know. <laughs> Let's uh, maybe interpret it as a warning so um, that we are prepared. The beacon. Several days after leaving the citadel, the squad explores an abandoned outpost. The pathfinder's information was correct. One of the beacons that will guide them to the Dome of Domes is indeed right here. Good. As Kal Kali starts hacking the beacon's data, Sin keeps a vig vigilant watch of the outpost's exit, scanning for any potential threats. Meanwhile, Nadir begins preparing the trail the squad will take through the ashes as Petra uses the radio set to contact the operator. Okay. The speaker of the rudimentary radio crackles and hisses before the reassuring voice of the operator is heard. Congratulations on behalf of the authority. Ooh, that sounds, um, that sounds hierarchical. <laughs> You've reached the first beacon. Now you must decide on your strategy to reach the second beacon. Keep moving, plan ahead and act fast. That would be Petra, I believe. Every obstacle in our path will be destroyed. Um, I guess that's the warrior. <laughs> we seek to understand the world and prepare ourselves to meet it. Diplomat, I think. We shall be invisible and therefore invincible, sneaking around. Let's do the planning one. I mean, we can go all out and the squad members act boldly and strategically. The operator validates their choice, highlighting the urgency and honor at stake. With the next wave, the Citadel will collapse. Our hopes lie with you, scouts. May victory be ours. The radio signal goes dead and the squad resumes their determined march. Okay, um, yeah, what I was gonna say is we can go on an all-out brutality run later. For now, let's, uh, let's keep it rational and um, just do good planning. Oh yeah, and let's get a better look at our squad here. They look kind of cool. <laughs> I don't think I can... Oh, I, I can change the characters. I didn't mean to do that right now, but um, sure. Don't think I can change the perspective of the camera, which is okay, but um, I would also really like to look around and <laughs> just take in the scenery. Um, maybe also discover some stuff here. Uh, let's have Petra, Petra lead the gang a while longer, or the squad rather. Guess we just walk outside again. Don't, uh, don't know if I missed something there. Probably. But that 
that's okay for now. Can we go up here, like stray? Okay, we can't. <laughs> uh, okay, so these are satiety, so they're hunger, uh, warmth, or <laughs> the opposite of hunger, I suppose. Um, warmth, light the campfire to warm up, and energy. All right then. Um, I guess we'll learn about that stuff in due time. Well, I hope we will. Okay, let's fight the wolf. Through the mist, the squad members spy the silhouette of a wolf. The scrawny beast bears its fangs, growls, and moves to attack. Shout to frighten the wolf, run away, attack head on, light a fire to scare it away. Uh, <sighs> Wasting our resources. I feel like shouting should do the trick. I mean, it is just a wolf. Wolves aren't that hostile to humans and it's just one wolf and we are four people. So thinking rationally, I do believe that Shouting should do the trick, but um, let's see if the game agrees. The squad starts yelling and stamping, making plenty of noise. The wolf emits a terrifying howl. Suddenly it leaps at Kali, slashes her with its claws, then disappears back into the fog. Stunned for a moment, the squad leaves the area as soon as possible. Hmm. Kali has been injured, two health points lost. And the squad is discouraged. Okay, made a great choice there. <laughs> I mean, I guess it was... From a game logic, okay, if you use your resources, you will probably be better off. Okay, we do have something else besides... Uh, we'll find a new home for our people, I know we will. We do have some colors, some red, <laughs> to indicate someone was hurt. Thanks for reminding me, game. Uh, maybe we should have someone else, uh, someone else harvest this. Uh, who has the most energy? Guess Nadir, maybe. Okay, then uh, retrieve some wood. Okay, let's keep moving. Ooh, we definitely need warmth. Um, ah, okay, up there is the camp icon. Oh, and we can collect the meat here, I guess. Um, sure. Oh, that costs energy. And then let's, whatever, someone else, just so that, that we can keep it kinda even. And uh, we can, oh wait, was there more? Yes, I think we might need the food. So now we can camp here. Might be a good idea. We need warmth and some energy wouldn't hurt as well. So let's see how this works. Didn't get much of a tutorial so far, I feel, but I guess that's okay. Um, so, um, distribution, manage the squad's needs. Schedule camp tasks, enable squad members to rest, explore, discuss and stand guard. Fire extinguished. I guess we better light a fire then. Um, nice. Okay. Small fire. Restoring some health, uh, food, and morale, and I don't know, death. <laughs> uh, we don't need too much healing right now. I mean, the wolf did some damage, but not too much. We do need food though. I don't know. Did, ah, okay, it's about who we feed right now. I would hope we can feed all of them. Okay. I guess we have enough food for that. Not to max it out, but this is good. We could make even more of a fire. Yeah, increasing the warmth even more. Danger low. Ah, okay, making a fire increases the danger. I understand, that's the danger symbol. All right, all right, we are learning. Schedule camp tasks. 
let's see um, okay talking that uh, I'm not sure what that does but probably it's good for our sanity <laughs> exploration might give us some stuff resting gives us back energy I mean I think we all need that can we Petra definitely needs to rest that will consume food um, Kali I think also definitely needs to rest I don't know can we only do one thing guard unprotected that's not good I guess um, if anyone is kind of okay on energy it would be sin can you do the guard stuff I uh, guess we have to do it <laughs> um, yeah well next time you can sleep then Ooh, that increases the danger by a lot and this doesn't remove much oh well it still says danger low so let's go <laughs> sin is con traces of footprints sin is convinced that he is being watched later on the squad members notice footprints uncomfortably close to their camp sin is discouraged hmm. Okay. Uh, huh, okay, we're still at the camp, so we can do multiple things. We just have to take turns, but yeah, I guess it makes sense. We don't have to stop camping. Um, yeah, I guess then it would have made sense to distribute it differently. But hey, we're learning. We are learning. So Sin still needs to rest as well. And uh, I mean, I guess the rest can just talk maybe what's Petra gonna do we could also explore might be useful ooh but that costs a lot uh, why not I'm still gonna do it 41% chance for finding something I guess ooh for health loss oh damn that's rough uh, but we will need more food for the next camp so hmm. what if we send multiple people here <laughs> talk with yourself <laughs> uh, I guess that doesn't really work I mean it does show these connections here I'm not sure still says the same thing up here that doesn't change so here it does oh okay A single person talking isn't quite as effective indeed all right got it but third and fourth it doesn't make a difference uh, for the quality of the conversation uh, Petra you can do it I believe in you oh no guard oh, come on okay mm. oh the danger is still rising let's do it So, why haven't you retired, Nadir? I should have retired, little sage. Unfortunately, I'm not here for entertainment. But you're a hero back at the dome, right? Let's just say that the authorities' upper echelons didn't exactly make me feel welcome. Hmm. Backstory, bit by bit. Traces of footprints. Petra is discouraged. Well, you may talk with people later. <laughs> Not right now, though. I think it's really time to leave now. Uh, distribute resources. I think we've done that. We could maybe still eat some more. Maybe you can eat something, too. We will have a food problem on the next stop, I do believe. Crap. Uh, but... I kind of need to, I don't know, Kali and Sin still have lots of energy left. Oh, damn, we have no food. That's not good. Okay, let's uh, see how well they do. Okay, higher chance for health loss here. Um, lower chance for health loss. That's good. Um... Oh, that costs 
you are not a good explorer, I believe. <laughs> um, okay, you should still talk, I guess. Uh, dangerous average right now. <laughs> that uh, lowers the chance, but more stuff. I don't know. Um, okay. Do we need someone to rest? Not really. You can talk with Petra then. All right, let's try it. Please work. Say, woe be gone, warrior. Do you feel like a joke competition to while away the hours? Mimicking Sin's warrior voice. I don't know, old man. I am a <laughs> warrior voice. That's how it sounds. <laughs> I don't know, old man. I'm not sure our jokes are competition worthy. Normal voice. I didn't say they had to be good. Actually, bad jokes would make our competition all the more amusing. <laughs> okay, old man, I get it. I'm game. Let the jokes begin. Can't be worse than that terrible impersonation of me. Thank you, thank you. I did my worst. <laughs> okay, um, danger high. It's time to leave. We have found no food, but whatever. Um, yeah, thanks, Nadir. And you got hurt as well. Good job. Let's leave. The wait. Kali recommends they huddle up next to each other. The cold is still bitter, but a little human warmth will help them prevail. Oh, damn. What? Why did this happen? I guess I'm bad at resource management and something fell down right now, so I was a bit distracted. What's the warmth situation now I guess I should have put some wood on the fire I don't care we leave now <laughs> uh, how journey yeah leave you have no food you are not doing too well on warmth maybe we find something over at that camp that we could have just went to without setting up our own I guess didn't see that before though so eh. hello there <laughs> Maybe this is where we should have learned about the campfire. The squad members notice a campfire in the distance. There a hooded figure can be seen warming his hands. Approach with menace. Approach in peace. Perform a surprise attack. Do not approach. Approach in peace. Let's be optimists. The squad members approach. Hands raised in the air. From beneath his hood, the young savage greets them with a smile. Kali enters into conversation with him and the savage invites them to sit and eat with him. Eat and rest. Rest with a watch rota. Okay, that makes sense, I guess. Uh, leave. Yeah, let's, uh, let's still keep watch to not get a surprise attack here. I mean, let's be optimists, but not be naive. <laughs> the, squad's decides, the, the squad decides to rest while remaining vigilant. Nadia talks with the savage but keeps his distance. The savage mentions him a group of savages to the north called the Hound. After the rest of the squad, uh, after, after the rest of the squad members arise, they all leave without fanfare. Okay, no surprise attack, that's good. Got some energy back, that's also good. Um, and can we steal your campfire, please? No, we can't. I hope you liked our last meal because I don't know when the next one's coming. Yep, we need more food indeed. <laughs> <sighs> I definitely have to work on my um, camping skills and we didn't learn about camping here. Like in the camp thing so I guess it's okay what I did kinda the ash valley two paths open up before the squad to the west lies a territory inhabited by wild animals if the tracks in the ash are to be believed to the east sprawls a cold rugged wind winding winding valley head west head east um, 
I mean, if the wild animals attack us and we have to fight them, at least we'll get some meat, I guess. <laughs> so, west it is. The squad decides the squad decides to go into the territory of the wild animals. Petra assures the rest of the squad that they can hurt uh, that they can hurt, hurt any animals they track down. Okay. <laughs> Hunt, not hurt. Damn reading skills. <laughs> yep, we can hunt animals now. Um I mean personally like in our current world. I'm not a fan of hunting animals, but I do believe um, um, living in a post-apocalyptic world um, justifies quite a few things. <laughs> so uh, yeah, let's collect this wood here. Won't hurt. At least that is... Ta oh, and there is something. Oh, footprints of a large animal. Giant wolf paw print. This paw print is too large to belong to a regular wolf. The creature who made it must be enormous. Cool! <laughs> uh huh. And we get some meat off of this dead creature. That will surely be healthy. Um, let's have someone else collect it, maybe. Wait, we did collect with Sin right now, didn't we? That was kinda okay, I guess. Um, you have still a lot of energy, so here we go, and I guess we continue. Did I miss anything over here? Don't believe so. So let's keep walking. Ooh. Seems like someone was here before. The lair. From the back of the dark caves comes a sound of deep, slav slavering breathing. The squad members are afraid. Two dull, bloodshot, oval eyes, hooded with monstrous ebony fur, blink open in the darkness. Cool. A giant wolf is watching, cold and patient. Its white stiletto fangs glint, ready to strike. Attack the creature head on. <laughs> Run out of the cave as quickly as possible. Slip by without making any sudden movements. Light a fire to distract it. Again, I suppose using this would, um, <laughs> would be the safest option because it's eating our resources. Let's try to slip by I don't know hasn't attacked us yet it's just watching but on the other hand there's a hand here <laughs> uh, attacking head-on hmm. light a fire come on whatever I don't want to get hurt again the squad member set some equipment alight to distract the creature. The giant wolf panics when it sees the flames. Its fearful howling fills the cave. Petra is petrified by the sound. She is quickly pulled outside by the rest of the squad, escaping the fiendish creature. Petra is extremely discouraged now. Cool. I mean, guess that's what the symbol means. Hope dejected. Hope influences uh, Petra's efficiency in her tasks. Okay. Uh, interesting, but not, yeah, not very nice. Um, I guess it's time for Petra to talk to someone next time. Okay, I do believe that I have forgotten to mention how much this game costs. Um, it should be eleven ninety nine, but um, with a launch discount of fifteen percent, so 
that should uh, bring it down to 1019 something around that number I believe that's the same for euros and US dollars not sure about other currencies but I will put the steam link in the description as always so uh, yeah if you like this then check it out over there and maybe buy it or wishlist it or yeah whatever you feel like rock formations the rocks here have been carved by the winds of the ash plains a region bordering the citadel these rocks have been hewn into distinctive forms that the pathfinders can use to get their bearings okay so another encyclopedia entry is there anything to the right here oh we need to camp we have found a little bit of meat but sadly not too much oh well time to eat for some of you petra for example and um sin and nadir i guess or Petra again. <laughs> uh, I don't know. Yeah, whatever. Um, campfire. Okay, large fire. Wonderful. That increases the danger. But uh, gotta do what you gotta do. So, schedule, let's see, can we, Petra, you need to talk to someone, hmm, that increases warmth, but, oh yeah, and also, I do believe this will be the sanity thing, I don't know, so maybe talk to Sin, because Sin is also pretty discouraged, the other ones are still kinda okay, so maybe they just stand guard. They all get warmth because the fire is burning so well. Okay, so yeah, let's do it like this for now. I'm happy that you feel at ease in the squad. It's difficult sometimes. We weren't born under the same stars, but thanks for giving me the chance. Okay. The Forced March. Nadir is paralyzed due to cramp caused by hours of trekking in hostile weather conditions. Kali keeps him company. Nadir is tired. Eh. Why is this stuff happening to us? <laughs> uh, I guess Kali and Nadir could use some rest. Uh, Kali, Nadir. So yeah, getting some warmth, consuming some food, which is not ideal, but well, let's have Petra and Sin stand guard then. Still getting some warmth. We don't really need it that much actually. Um, but I do believe we need the protection. So yeah, let's see. The smog. The squad is engulfed in a thick yellow fog. The air is still breathable, but the stench of sulfur is close to unbearable. I thought the air was not breathable in general. <laughs> at least that's what you said at the beginning. Okay, fire is small by now. The question is, does it make sense to stick around any longer? We could still explore. Nadia is the fighter, right? Yeah, I guess pretty low chance for uh, getting hurt. Relatively high chance of finding something. Um, what if we put... Oh, they have... Uh, yeah, they haven't rested. What if we put Kali with you? Uh, that doesn't help too much, I guess. Um, what can we... Please remove you. Okay, like that. Yeah, actually the chance of finding something is higher with only only Nadir here. Let's hope that we do find some meat. That would be good. Um, 
And yeah, let's see, what do we do with the others? Maybe just all stand guard. Uh, these would also, like, would be good to let them rest. I'm not sure if this is safe, but eh, we'll see. Okay, now the danger is high. What's happening? Oh, Nadia has returned. Okay, I kind of skipped that. I was a bit confused there. But okay. <laughs> uh, did they return empty-handed again? I kind of missed it now, but hey. The belligerent Oryx. In the nick of time, Kali pulled Sin out of the way of the grim Oryx's charge. The creature battles to protect its territory, but it, is, but it is soon fought off. So we got tired by that. Um, fire is extinguished, so no more resting now. I have learned that lesson. Okay, we did find a little bit of food and some more, um, some more firewood. But yeah, it's time to leave, I believe. I mean, we can still feed someone i guess sin needs it oh nadir needs it the most damn we have a food problem oh well <laughs> uh we'll see schedule to just leave or where do we journey yes here we are open backpacks uh don't think that does anything so uh, yeah well time to leave and hopefully find some food. Seems like food is our biggest problem right now. Before camping it was warmth. Um, I think there still was yeah, something to interact with over there. We're short on rations. I don't like this at all. I can agree to that. <laughs> All right, um, well, we do have energy, so let's quickly collect this. Yeah, that has, like, took some energy to collect, but I guess it's worth it, <laughs> collecting the stuff you randomly find. Oh, damn, Sin and Nadir are getting hungry. All of them getting hungry, but um, <sighs> well, maybe there's some food inside here. The mansion. As the squad enters a surprisingly well conserved ruin, Nadir steps on a cable. It's a rudimentary trap which, with a muffled click, locks the front door. Um, that's a pretty mean trap because um, if it was just some booby trap hurting you, that would be the message, stay away, which is like rational, like in a post-apocalyptic world with um, people might be trying to hurt you, but someone who sets up a trap to trap you inside this mansion that's bad <laughs> okay let's see do we starve or do we get killed by someone the scouts are locked inside the mansion the sound of hurried footsteps can be heard in the adjacent room cool anything to um, collect in here maybe some food in the fridge there's a fridge check the fridge uh, I guess we don't check the fridge, but rather... Meet the hound. In the corner of the dusty room are at least two dozen figures dressed in wolf pelts, observing the squad with spears and bows at the ready. Nice. <sighs> uh, I guess I didn't pay enough attention at the campfire. They kinda told us where... Um, the hound was, so I guess I could have known when I picked the path. Yeah, that's what you get for only listening with half an ear. <laughs> he might have noticed and I didn't, so sorry if you were like, no, they said they were the hound and they didn't sound like nice people. 
Oh well, now we're here. <laughs> Let's make friends. It's difficult to determine the exact level of their hostility. Direct conf confrontation is risky. Yeah. The wolf-headed savages await the squad's reaction. Do not draw weapons. I don't think we are um, in a position to fight them right now. The squad decides to play for time. The savages calm down a little. One tall warrior orders the others to lower their weapons. Then he speaks. You stand on the territory of the Hound. If you can prove the valor of your clan in one-on-one -on -one, hand to hand combat, you will, you will be welcome. That's all we can do here, I believe. This is, <laughs> this is their territory and I would prefer one-on-one -on -one hand to hand combat than um, them just shooting us in the face with what they're pointing at us. So yeah, let's do it. The squad accepts the challenge. The tall warrior nods, satisfied. I will be your adversary. Who will be mine? This is not a duel to the death. The chosen squad member must display strategy or brute forth. The brutal warrior, the audacious captain, Petra is defeatist. The choice could have negative consequences. Kali is defeatist. Nadir is defeatist. Well, I would have gone with the Brutal Warrior anyway, I believe. Brute force it is. Sin steps forward, his gaze focused. The savage positions himself opposite Sin. The warrior of the squad has great experience of this exercise. He has done things like this all his life. Prepare to dodge or strike first. Uh, Head on. <laughs> the squad member strikes first. The savage warrior is set off guard by the well-aimed blow and steps back. Um, keep up the assault. Um, or attempt a body lock. I mean... If we are already kinda in control, the body lock might... Um, strengthen that position. The squad member wraps themselves around the savage. The savage is temporarily immobilized by the attack, surprised by the maneuver. The combat ends with... The squad member delivering a decisive blow. An uppercut to the chin knocks out the savage who collapses to the floor, defeated. So we had them in a body lock and then we're like, uppercut! <laughs> okay, sure! <laughs> Let's do it like that. Um, sounds effective, but uh, also a bit weird going from a body lock to an uppercut. Not complaining though. The savages acknowledge the squad's strength. They salute them with respect and humility. The squad members are welcomed into the refuge, which suddenly takes on a warmer and more welcoming aspect. The savages and the hound prove to be amicable. The squad members can stop over here before resuming their journey. See, I made a great decision there. The Hound, our friends, I told you. <laughs> All right, the squad is re-motivated. Good stuff. And we're hungry. Do you have food? Uh, it's really hard to see in here. There's something over there. Haha, -ha, and it's food. Um, who has the most energy? Petra? Petra is collecting. No, it's Kali. Oh, well. Doesn't matter, it's food. It's not enough food, but it is food. Was there anything over here? I guess we gotta act quick. Oh, damn. Maybe there was more in the mansion. I didn't find it though. The squad is the last hope of survival. Yep, we had that. That was the first stop of our exploration and I guess we are now at stop number two. And as I said, I do believe there are four stops in total. I guess I will at least explore the second one too in this episode and then definitely do at least one more. Day 17, the members of the third squad leave the mansion. The hound waves them off. 
Knowing that such friendly encounters are possible re-motivates the squad members, but the road ahead of them is still long. <sighs> okay, your squad is a level-headed unit and the squad members do not privilege any one approach over another. Neutrals. Uh, your squad, okay, optimists, your squad agrees to trust others privileging discussion, kindness and conciliation over direct conflict. Trust is higher than distrust, caution is bigger than daring, yeah, I mean, sounds like me, I guess. <laughs> mm -hmm. And here, strategy is pretty high, combat pretty low, diplomacy is high, stealth is zero, yeah, let's not hide, um, but also let's not run into combat when it's not necessary. I really like this game so far, just to give a impression after starting to play it. I mean, I guess I could have done what I've done in 46 minutes much quicker had I known um, the mechanics and um, yeah, I hope so. I do hope it wasn't um, boring for you or anything, but I enjoyed this a lot. I hope you do too. And uh, I also like the way they, they tell the story. I, I think it would have been cool if they could have found some voice actors um, to, to voice these characters. I also like reading them. But uh, in general, I really like the way they are telling the story here. And still, the art style, the music, it's all really well done. Day 17. In search of the next beacon, the third squad is now crossing damp yet verdant volcanic lands. Human move movement has been observed in the area, so the quad squad members need to proceed with caution, <laughs> prepare to meet other humans, something like that, I guess. <laughs> the volcanic tundra. Tundra? Not sure how that is pronounced in English. The, the, the word exists in German as well. There it's tundra. Um, not quite sure about the English pronunciation. But you know, you read it too, I guess. According to data collected from the other beacons, the squad should be able to find the next be beacon in the vicinity. Cool. I mean, that's what we're here for. The scouts just need to find its exact location so that they can continue their quest to the Dome of Domes. Yep. Trying to do that. I mean, that's just us trying to save 200,000 people. <laughs> okay, got a bit weird water glitching there. <laughs> but this is still a pre-release version, so um, there might still be some minor bugs inside that get fixed with the release version. So uh, don't judge the game based on that. Also, it seems like we did eat something when we were with the Hound, so we aren't quite as low as before. Um, I'm happy about that. Oh, something over there. Please be food. <laughs> Guess we could maybe go through here. Nope. <sighs> Seems like the hound didn't have any medics around though, and this looks um, interesting. The vulture. 50 yards ahead, the squad members spy a strange creature that looks like some kind of vulture. The creature is searching for prey, picking through the ash, disturbing burrows, and blocking their path. creature resembles a bird the size of a man, with a burned body and scattered tufts of feathers. It walks on its wings. Preoccupied by its search for food, is that it has not yet noticed the squad. Um, sounds like a really creepy but cool creature. I mean, the description alone is just like bird the size of a man with a burned body and scattered tufts of feathers walking on its wings. That sounds so dark and corrupted. I really like it. Like, at least in my mind, it looks really cool. And yeah, we got some silhouette going on here. Well, it has not yet noticed the squad. We could lay a trap, attack it by surprise, wait for it to leave or chase it away to keep traveling. Um, 
I mean, we do have enough firewood. Maybe laying a trap will be effective and we might get some meat out of it. The squad decides to lay a trap. Using cunning and a trap made of wooden stakes, the squad members draw the vulture into a crevasse. The squad has lost wood. Can't eat the bird. <laughs> ah, the vulture shuffles off, observes the area, then pounces on the bait, falling into the trap. Ah, we do get bird meat. <laughs> the creature is killed. The squad members dissect the carcass for meat. Gotta take what you can get. I suppose we have found hound food. Was that hound food or just found food? I don't know. We get more firewood, I think. Um, let's see. Um, I guess Petra or you. Nice. Our meat reserves are completely full, I think. I wonder if there are more characters also to like um, have a different squad with different characters, different abilities. It would be interesting. Um, but I don't know. Um, didn't read anything about that or if I did I forgot. Oh, hmm. we do have lots of food here lying around but uh, we don't have any room so it's camp time. <laughs> Let's eat. All right, the game has crashed on me. I don't think it was the game's fault. Uh, my PC has sadly a habit of doing that, but it seems like my save file got corrupted. It didn't save that I had beaten this nice little bird. And um, yeah, now we don't have much food. <laughs> Our warmth is very low. Eh, this is rough. I will tr still try to survive and save this run somehow, but this is... Damn, I was getting really optimistic about this and now I am not anymore. Well, as I said, I'm gonna try to make it work. The warmth should not be the problem, but we will have to hunt here. Uh, and hopefully get some food. Um, so who do we feed first? Um, I guess Nadir is the lowest and well also probably our main hunter. So um, oh Sin is the lowest but hey we still have some food left so that's okay for now. Let's hope that we get some food here. Okay um, yeah well time to rest I guess. For maybe not for you actually. Maybe we can put you in the 65%. Uh, well, we don't have much food. But hey, uh, let's see what can Nadir do. Maybe you can also guard. I don't know. Nadir, explore. 85%. That's good. Um, Kali. Okay, 80%, but more. Hmm. 90% that is good I guess we need that I mean you also need energy but later <laughs> uh, just trying to save this now I really don't want to have to abandon this run by starving <laughs> uh, if it was by failure that's okay but damn that corrupted save that's annoying couldn't fight the bird I tried also just to reapproach it that's why my Warmth and food dropped even lower because I was walking around just trying to approach the bird, but it didn't trigger anymore. So that was rough. Um, so we could guard or just rest. Um, I guess resting would be good for you. You need more energy. Um, well, Petra, yeah, Petra doesn't really. So that's all right. Guess this is good. Please find some food. Okay. Sin has returned from the exploration and brought back, well, not quite what I hoped for. Nadir, nothing, thanks. <laughs> so you had to like roll a dice, a dice with 100 sides and get lower than 85 and you got 86. Good job. 
you all also got very close. Ah, damn. Well, let's continue and a um, flock of birds flies over the camp towards the, th the, the south. The squad members are worried. These birds could be migrating, but they could also be an omen of ill fortune. Um, let's go with migrating. <laughs> We're optimists here. Okay, distribute. Eat people. Petra, it's your turn now to eat, I guess. Um, so Sin at least still is fully motivated here. Um, uh, yeah, I guess we're good when, like, as far as the warmth goes. But we still need more food. So what about exploring some more Sin? What about exploring some more Nadir? I guess it's what we got to do. Um, so dangerous average now. Hmm. Do we talk or do we protect? That's kind of the question. It's only 80% now, the exploration. <sighs> I guess that's because Nadir's uh, motivation is a bit lower now. But hey, who cares? We'll try to do it again. We need to find food. Um, Petra will guard. Kali will also guard then, I guess. They don't need energy, so that's okay. Yeah. Let's go with that. Okay. Sin has returned from exploration and brought back two food. Thank you. Nadir has also brought back one food and some firewood. Awesome. The figure. The squad members believe that the disturbing figure they can see in the distance is a savage. The figure stands motionless for a while before running away. Okay. Small fire now, but hey, we do have food. That is so, so nice. Kali, eat. <laughs> Sin also needs to eat again. They all still need to eat more, I guess. But hey, let's see. Nadir, eat some more. Danger has risen to average. Let's see. We don't need more firewood for now, I believe. Like, don't need to throw in anything more. So let's get back to scheduling. Um, yeah, it would be nice to get even more food. <laughs> let's see. Um, hmm. No chance of getting hurt. I guess that's good. But the like um, chance for finding something is getting lower and lower. 70% um, now and a chance to get hurt. What about the others? Okay, that's not helping. Also not helping. Oh well. I guess you have to do it again and please don't get hurt. Uh, the other two, maybe you can just talk to each other now. It would have been nice to get some energy back for Sin as well, but I do believe that food is still our primary concern here. So yeah, let's go with that. Unprotected, that's not wise, I guess, but hey, <laughs> we'll see. So what do you think of the outside? Were your books correct? What I find most incredible here is how free people are. There are no castes, no authority, no Lazarus. You're right, recruit. However, without that authority, the Citadel would be gone. Order and security are what enable our survival. But the Grey people have been living outside together for over a century. Good point. Who are the Grey people? <laughs> But uh, yeah, well, that kind of disproves your theory, Petra. Ah, more food, bit of firewood, also not bad. You got hurt. It's not that important. We got food. We got even more food. Nice. Okay, I think I might have saved it. The forest march. Petra has begun to suffer from unbearable cram from the fatigue. Okay, lost some energy. That's not that bad. Okay. 
I think I might have saved it. <laughs> if my save didn't save it, I uh, I have to do it myself, I guess. So uh, let's distribute some more food and then just leave, I suppose. Um, so who needs food the most? Nadir. Def oh, you can't eat anymore because the fire is not burning. All right then. I suppose that might be it. Mm. Oh, you can eat. I thought the red icon meant you can't. Oh, whatever. We have enough firewood, I guess. Um, Sin just has a lower bar in general, so that's why I'm kind of always on the edge there. One more food, Petra or Kali. Ah, there you go, Petra. Um, schedule. Mm, danger is a bit high. So, um, <sighs> I think we need to move on despite energy getting low for Sin there. Yeah, just move on. <laughs> Maybe we find some nice people again. So uh, this is where we collected the firewood last time and then camped. I hope this time there's no crash, but I really do believe it was my equipment's fault and not the game's. Sadly, it's happening relatively frequently. I um, think Kali should collect, looking at the energy bars. We will find food, won't we? Sure. Don't you worry. <laughs> uh, damn. I guess the game just instantly punished me for killing that poor, poor bird. <laughs> what did it? Oh, we get some more meat. All right. I will take it. I guess Kali is still relatively high on energy. Sure. Okay. Go through here. And it's saving. That's useful. If it doesn't get corrupted again. <laughs> uh. Petra seems to be the highest on energy now. And ooh, we can heal. And some food. Awesome. And our backpack is kind of full and there's something lying around there. Maybe it's a good time to camp again. Ooh, this is a nice camping area. Um, we don't need too much warmth, but maybe, yeah, maybe a medium fire will be good. So, uh, oh yeah, distribution still, still need to feed them. Um, Kali, you need to eat now. Um, yeah, that deer and Sin, I guess, too. Nah, we can still wait if we want to do a two cycle anyway. And also we can just do this after the next schedule, I think. Maybe Nadia will be happier with more food though. Okay. Nah, still pretty neutral. <laughs> hope influences, uh, hope it's called efficiency in his tasks. Yeah, well, let's see. <sighs> I guess we still want to find more food, do we? We also want to just rest. Danger is still average. Crap. Eh. Oh uh, well, we still need to rest, so that's what we do now. Um, <laughs> plus six, minus six. Oh well, works, I guess. Um, and then maybe next time they can. Do it the other way around and the others rest. 
first. Maybe that makes sense. Ooh, danger has risen still. The instrument. One of the squad members finds a musical instrument and strums a gentle song. Everyone is buoyed by the familiar thrum. I don't know how to pronounce that word. For just a moment, the squad members can forget their worries. They are all re-motivated. Love it. I mean, three of them were already fully motiva motivated, but Nadir getting a motivation boost. That should be useful um, for further explorations later. Um, yeah, I, s I still think we need another rest cycle for Petra and Sin to regain some energy. So, um, yeah, that's what we do. Kali and Nadir. Um, I suppose you will stand guard now. Yep. Alright, that's good. So they will recover some energy and hopefully we won't get attacked. <laughs> What had to be done? The rest of the squad members find Petra mute and covered in dirt, slumped beside two fresh graves. Petra is discouraged. Did you dig them for someone you found, or did you just find the graves? You weren't too discouraged, I guess, so that's good. Yeah, that's nice. Okay, we weren't attacked or anything, so that's good. Danger is high now, we really have to leave. Let's uh, still feed Sin and then just uh, journey on. It's time. Oh, it's dark as well. <laughs> uh, yep, night time. Let's see what's lying around here. Basalt fragments. Given its splintered state, this rock clearly wasn't formed recently. The vegetation in the area also confirms that there's been no eruption recently. Okay. <laughs> I guess uh, we're short on rations. I don't like this at all. Yep, yep. We've heard this before, but it always works out somehow. Stay optimistic. Mm -hmm. The ruin. In an ancient village, the squad reaches a ruin buried beneath layers of volcanic rock and ash. One building seems more eas easily accessible than the others. Search the ruin, carry on. Let's search. <laughs> I want to know what's inside there. The squad decides to search the ruin. Inside there is little of interest, but the stone roof provides some insulation and much needed shelter from the wind and ash. The squad members can rest here for a while and warm their bones. I mean, we are pretty rested already, so uh, let's carry on, I guess. The squad decides to ignore the ruin. Calmly leaving the site, they decide to trace out their path across the tundra. Petra looks sorrowfully at the rest at the squad and feels guilty forcing them to proceed on this sustained march. Eh, well, they are discouraged now, but I think we're still doing fine for now. At the exit of the ruin, the squad finds fresh tracks and I tried to click away because I was already on, the, on my way here, but that didn't quite work out. Well, we found fresh tracks and some health or med kits or something. Yeah, one medication. Um, I think Nadir should scout uh, or harvest that. Yep. Uh, now it said Sin would do it, but it marked Nadir. Oh well. <laughs> uh, should be fine. We are all pretty well on the energy. And we find more meat. Ah, another carcass. Well, I'll take it. <laughs> See, we always find some good meat on the ground. If we don't, we'll just have to scout the area or make friends by uppercutting people. <laughs> Where's the beacon? 
can't rest anymore. It's too dangerous. The vultures. The squad members hear sounds coming from the north. A savage wrapped in swathes of cloth is being attacked by three gaunt vultures thirsting for blood. Let him die, save the savage. I'm an altruist. Save the savage. The squad decides to save the savage. The scouts launch into action and attract the vulture's attention to them. The beasts notice their approach but give the poor savage an adolescent no respite. Distract them with food. Well, we do have two food. Attack them head on or run away. Whatever. We have the health and we need the food and maybe we can harvest even more meat here so fight. The squad decides to attack the vultures. Sin draws his weapon and charges into attack, slashing violently at the beasts. The vultures don't let up their own attack for even a second. Okay, we are all hurt. After a few minutes, one of the vultures is seriously injured by Sin's blade. Seeing this, the other beat a hasty retreat. The squad members catch their breath and assess their wounds. Okay, yeah. That hurt, but we do have med kits, so that's okay. Um. No. Meanwhile, the savage has disappeared from the squad's sight. Eh, that might still come in handy. I really like the music in this game and just the whole atmosphere. What do we have here? More firewood. Um, yeah, I guess... I don't know. I really hope we... Can we avoid camping again, please? We need warmth now. Come on. Just collect and carry on. Oh, maybe it's dependent on the time of the day, well, how dangerous it is as well. Let's see. Just camp and heal and stuff. Uh, dangerous low. Okay, that's good. Camping was a good decision then. Um, so Petra needs food. All of them do, but Petra the most and also Sin, I guess. Um, and also medicine. Let's just Let's just heal. as well. Medium should be good. Um, Petra should heal, I believe. The others, I'm not so sure. They still have plenty of health. Why does Nadir have such low health? Oh well. Um, we have more food, so... Sin? Oh. Misclick. Yeah, just eat. Now the schedule for harvesting. I mean, Nadir has full motivation, so this should be good. 95% losing nothing here. That's awesome. Um, can we get that to be even more stuff, though? Still 90. That's only 90%, but I guess it calculates for both of them differently uh, or separately. So that's good. Um... Wait, so this... Okay, what about Petra? Um, oh yeah, that's never good. Petra is just not a good hunter. Uh, Yeah, I guess this is good. Um, Petra needs someone to talk to. But they also need some time to rest. Huh. I guess we gotta do it like that. I'm not sure. 
protected, unprotected. Uh, we need the energy as well. The other two are, they will have to rest, but next time, but maybe if they are successful right now, the other two can stand guard then the next time. Let's do it like this. I believe this makes sense. I'm not sure. Plus three, minus three. <laughs> Could also rest next time and only one stands guard. Let's do it like this for now. Yes, one food and med kit, food, wood and med school cool. I will take that. Far from the catastrophe, the squad members feel the ground shaking beneath their feet. An earthquake, a daily occurrence here has been triggered in the distance. Okay, so that didn't have any effect on us. More food to distribute now. Not too much though, sadly, but it's something. Um, yeah, more for Petra, I guess. You're a very hungry one. <laughs> so I guess we weren't as successful as I would have hoped, but um, Nadia needs some rest now. So uh, yeah. What else? Uh, what if you explore again? 75%. What if you explore together? Still 75% and a chance to get hurt. Not nice, but uh, Petra would also need some rest. Hmm. But I don't know. Hmm. Petra really needs some energy. And we need more food, so I guess we have to do it like this. Let's see what happens. Um, okay, Sin has food. Kali got nothing, but hey, this is good. We got two more food. Should be all right for now. Fever. Petra is starving? What? Ah, uh, <laughs> fever and throws up her last, ah, okay, because she throws up her last meal, ah, oh, crap. Petra, you're eating all our resources. <sighs> okay, danger high, I guess because it's night, no, it's still afternoon, <laughs> well, whatever. Distribute the food now, Petra, eat up. This was pointless, like the food we found is just instantly gone again. Ah, crap. Oh well. Guess it's alright for now. It has to be. Let's journey on. I suppose. Danger is too high. Ah, maybe it will be lower the next time we stop somewhere. And we're out of the red, so that's good. Would have been so nice if I still had the vulture meat or just walked here. <laughs> ah, Petra, you can collect again. You have loads of energy right now. Uh, I guess this was a mushroom or something. Looked like it. Well, it's nice that we have some rations for our next stop, though. Backpack is almost full. But uh, I would say that's a good thing. Kali is getting hungry. That's not a good thing. But hey, we have enough food to at least give everyone something right now. I feel like I'm making this harder than it has to be. Um, well, and the game crashing is also not helping. I don't think we need too much more wood. But let's see how much is there. Ooh, loads of it. Okay. 
Um, we only have two more spots in our inventory. Wait, there's also meat. Ooh, okay. Hmm. Throw away some wood. I guess so. Because getting more food sounds good. Can we go over there? Um, yes. Okay. really hope we find that beacon sometime soon. We've been walking for a while and there's some sort of trap. In the middle of the tundra, a vulture screeches in pain. Closer inspection reveals the vulture is ensnared in a trap made of wooden stakes, cables and ropes. The prey must belong to someone. Kill the vulture and dissect it for meat. Leave the prey where it is. Um don't want to make any enemies and surprisingly we have enough food again anyway so just leave it there yep enjoy your vulture meat better not take any risks yeah Barely minutes later, three savages, swathed in cloth and rudimentary camouflage, appear. They head over to the trap and kill the creature. They have not spotted the squad. Go and meet them. Let's make more friends. The squad decides to go and meet them. Taking care not to surprise them, Kali talks to them as she approaches, hands in the air, followed closely by the others. The savage hunters are surprised and mistrustful, but far from threatening. Okay. Oh. The squad members talk with the savages for a while. The savages tell them they are western nomads. Most important of all, the beacon the squad is looking for is in the middle of their camp. Okay. Glad they're not enemies. <sighs> the hunters tell the squad they have to leave. A few minutes later, they have completely vanished into the bushes with their prey. Okay then, where's your camp by the way? Oh, there's lots of silhouettes over there in the distance. And also, we will need to camp again, I'm afraid. <laughs> uh, since we are deep in the red for hunger and warmth. Let's hope that the danger has cooled down a little bit by now. Ooh, something maybe giving us more intel here. I guess I I, I would really like to also check um, the encyclopedia. But hey, multiple tracks. The tracks suggest a large number of people on the move. Maybe 50, perhaps even 100. Most likely nomads. Okay, we've met them. Yeah, I would really like to read the encyclopedia to get some background knowledge. Yes, yeah, so from what I've read, this is like, I didn't think the temperature could ever fall this low. Yeah, okay, your warmth is horrible. Okay, let's camp. Um, yeah, uh, so, so from what I've read, this is kind of a post-apocalyptic world after a natural disaster, like related to volcanoes and volcanic eruptions, hence the ash. But uh, yeah, um, let's make a fire here um, maybe even a big one this time I mean we have enough firewood so I don't know depends on the time we'll camp here I guess and I guess we'll have more than one cycle so let's maybe keep it like this for now ah whatever burn the wood and eat everyone eat up eat up Kali might want slash need more. Same for, well, Nadir is pretty high actually, but the bar is pretty high too. So just for Petra for now. And um, Sin, Sin might be, yeah, maxing out with this. So maybe let's wait. Um, okay, schedule. Um, well, maybe 
maybe let's have Petra talk to someone now. Uh, resting would be still more important, I believe. So you should definitely rest. Kali should also rest. Maybe Nadir can keep guard for now. I mean, if we take two turns, Thin can also keep guard. Yeah, seems good for now. Traces of footprints. Sin is convinced. Yeah, they are watched. Notice footprints close, so Sin is discouraged, but still very much in the green. That's nice. Um, okay. Dangerous average now. Let's see. Petra is totally maxed out on almost everything, so that's nice, but you could use a talk. Um, Sin needs to rest. Um, Nadia would be nice to rest, but it's not that, that it's really necessary, actually. Um, so maybe you just go hunting a little bit. Why not? Costs you nothing. Maybe we get something off it. Uh, Kali, you stand guard, I guess. Yeah, I guess you will have to talk to yourself, Petra. <laughs> Um, well then, wait, can't I confirm this? I'm confused right now. Do I have to have another person for the talk? I guess that might be it. Uh, yes, now I can confirm. Okay, yeah, you can't actually talk to yourself. Sad. Oh well. Sin needs to rest and I would really like to explore. We don't have much meat left now. <sighs> yeah, I guess it's okay. Let's see. I still think this mission is too dangerous for you, young lady. <laughs> uh, don't young lady me. Because staying in the dome and waiting for it to collapse is less dangerous? I'm not just a little orphan with big ideas, Petra. I've been given a chance to play my part in a new adventure driven by a worldview far removed from the injustices of the Citadel. I wouldn't miss this for the world. Your determination and selflessness never fail to impress me. They are truly commendable traits, but watch that they don't stab you in the back. Okay. Um, well, anything else? Ah, okay, yeah, the hunt. Okay, a little bit of meat and wood, or food and wood in general. Yep, seems good. Let's continue. And the bird of doom. A vulture circles above the squad with a vicious gleam in its eyes. Other vultures flock to join it. The squad members are far from reassured by this morbid presence. All of them discouraged. That's not good. We just talked. <laughs> okay, you just got it back, it seems. Oh, well. Uh, still not nice. Let's distribute some resources again. Uh, let's feed Sin. Maybe Nadir. I mean Nadir still has at least some room left on the food bar. <laughs> so what else? Do we schedule more? Dangerous getting pretty high. But we could have Nadir and Sin talk and I don't know. The others hunt this time. Uh, Petra is not good at hunting. Whatever, let's journey for now. Maybe we find some meat just lying around. I don't think the resource management part is actually that hard, but yeah, that we're short on rations. Yeah, yeah. Um, but I guess I maneuvered myself into a bad spot. 
with that. So uh, yeah, only wood, sadly. But hey, it's something, and we have enough energy to harvest. Um, who is this right now? Ah, okay, it was Sin that would have worked, but Kali works just as well. So here we go. Uh, this time I have to remember to take a break a bit sooner, not just when the food hits the critical area because I don't have any to eat right away and I think that might not be good. And we saved and we entered there. Um, their camp. The squad stops and hides in a bush for a while. To the north they see they can see a nomad encampment. In its center is the beacon. Well we haven't made any enemies, so that's good. <laughs> the squad has to retrieve the data from the beacon to continue its quest to the Dome of Domes. How do we do it? From what they can make out, there are two possible ways to access it. Via the camp's well-guarded main entrance or to the left where there is a path around the camp heading westwards. Um, the squad has to make a choice. Um, a direct approach, whether using diplomacy or force, or a stealthy approach. Yeah, let's make the direct approach and just punch the gate or something. <laughs> Nah, um, diplomatic seems reasonable. Um, can I not make the decision here? Okay then, I guess we just walk towards the gate then. I guess this would be the outside path, but I feel comfortable approaching them head on. We've been nice, we haven't stolen food, we have even saved one of them from vultures, so... Come on, be nice to us. The camp. The nomads instantly recognize the squad members as they approach. They greet them amicably and ask why they have come. <laughs> well, we would like to check that beacon. Petra speaks of the beacon at the center of the camp. They need the data. It is essential for their mission. And we're in. <laughs> the nomads seem to understand the urgency of the squad's mission. They immediately let them pass. Diplomacy. <laughs> All right then. Um, there's something over there. Let's check it out. Campfire discussion. The nomads are talking about the past amongst themselves. They recall that many years ago they visited a huge stone and glass shelter that was capable of withstanding the worst weather. That will probably give us some info about that thing. We won't get far without food. Yeah, come on, chill. We're almost through here. And there indeed is the beacon. The squad members gather around the beacon. Each one needs a moment to catch their breath. As the beacon's data is hacked, communication is established with the operator. After a standard report, the conversation turns to the savages, the grey people, the survivors living outside the domes. Out of curiosity, the operator asks the squad what they think of those people. Ash dwellers cannot be trusted. They are just people trying to survive. No more dangerous than the inhabitants of a dome. They're good people. <sighs> I don't really know if they're good people or bad people or uh, something. I mean, so far everyone I've met has been kinda alright. I mean, going for a fist fight to deem if you like someone is bit harsh but also not that far out of the ordinary I guess so so far they have been good people but I'm also thinking what do I want to tell the operator what do I want them to think about us and our um, um, yeah our trustworthiness so 
I don't know, this one or this one. I mean, because it already sounds like the operator has their mind made up by talking about those people. That's typically not something you say when you don't already have some prejudices. They're just people trying to survive. I guess I'll go with that. The squad is realistic about outsiders. The operator reacts positive, uh, pensively to this remark. conversation ends. The squad can progress as the data has been retrieved. The path to the north takes them into a new region. Alright, I mean, let's walk a little bit further and see what's this. But she won't get far with... we won't get far. <laughs> she, a readily foldable and surprisingly ingenious insulated tent. Okay, more knowledge. Um, I don't think we'll have time in this episode to uh, <laughs> to fully check the encyclopedia, but I mean it might also be interesting just going through this run without reading the encyclopedia and then at the end figuring out a bit more of the backstory by checking that. And Seems like we are in, in a new area, but it's pretty dark. I mean, it's night, so that makes sense. Um, before all my resources run out, you cannot set up a camp right now. Um, and I suppose it's time to head into the main menu here, because um, I don't want my people to starve or freeze right now. Um, yeah, this has been pretty awesome and um, I really enjoyed it a lot. I, uh, I like exploring this world and I'm already looking forward to actually doing this just again and making different choices. Have I mentioned there are 34 different endings in this? I am really curious about um, figuring out how this story may develop in different directions by making different choices. Um, while also making sure that my people, as I mentioned, don't starve or don't freeze. But uh, yeah, I don't know. I'm pretty impressed by this. This is really cool. I enjoy this type of game a lot, making decisions, um, finding your own way through the game. And um, let's have a quick look at the encyclopedia. We're not going to read it all. But yeah, so these are the discovered places. We have flora and fauna. We have people. History, there's nothing in there yet, but okay. Citadel, Lazarus. Documents, no documents found so far. The squad, so we can have some... Can we have more um, background on them or is it just stats? I don't know, says strate strategic captain, savage warrior, young researcher and veteran scout. Behaviors. Scouts and neutrals. Your squad is a level-headed unit. Okay, okay. Um, I guess that's just what we've done so far. Statistics. No endings unlock. Yeah, so actually 34 endings. Uh, game time somehow didn't count up, but that's okay. Um, days of exploration too. Uh, it's a bit weird, but whatever. Um, that's probably because of the somewhat corrupted save file. I don't know, I just hope we can continue at this spot in the next episode. There will definitely be one. Uh, as I said, I'm really um, enjoying playing this game. So yeah, prepare for another episode in which we hopefully can complete this journey. I mean, the second section took a bit longer than the first one, I do believe, despite me already kind of knowing some of the mechanics or most of them, I believe. Um, so I don't know how long the rest might take. It's sad you can complete a run in two hours, but yeah, figuring it all out for the first time and running into difficulties with um, the rations and such. Um, prolongs it a little bit also just yeah talking about stuff obviously if you played on your own you're always quicker than I am here but 
yeah i've said it all i believe um you can get this game on steam right now or on gog or on the epic game store um as i mentioned 11.99 if you're not re or 10.19 for a while launch discount and uh yeah even if you don't want to get it but you think it looks interesting you could wishlist it until there's a bigger discount or until you feel like buying it um, until you figured out if you really would enjoy it uh yeah because wishlisting also helps the developers and as this is a newly founded indie studio i guess it would be cool to support them if you think this this concept is cool even if you don't want to play it so yeah i think that's really all um i've talked for a long time and i'm a bit tired because i had to work today so i'm gonna end it here thank you for watching i really appreciate it you made it to the end um, if you enjoyed this, please leave a comment down below. Uh, let me know what you think about this one. Um, also, you could hit the thumbs up button if you enjoyed it and subscribe to my channel if you haven't done that already. Also, I am frequently live streaming over on Twitch. Link is also in the description and um, I'm posting stuff on Twitter. Another link you will, fi you will find in said description. So uh, yeah. This is where I end today's episode. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you again soon. Take care. See you then. Bye.